y'all might think I'm bananas for the price I'm putting on it, but, but we'll see. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. My name is Margaret. I am a reselling homeschooling mom that flips things on eBay, Etsy, and other platforms to help support my family. And in today's video, we've got a good old fashioned thrift haul. I've got about 13 items here that I'm going to show you. They're all hard goods. Uh, whether vintage or plush, mugs, I've got a bit of everything here to show you. I spent just under $40, about $38.50, and I should be able to make close to $500, between $500 and $550 on these items if they sell for the price that I think they should. If you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Go down there and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I put out new videos. Uh, I make videos all about thrifting, reselling, jewelry, ride-alongs, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so I'd love to have you join along. I also post on Facebook and Instagram, both places I'm Texas Gal Treasure, so I'd love to have you follow me there as well. Let's get started. And before we get started too, I just want to say that this is because sometimes my computer starts getting hot and it uh, makes loud noise. So I have my mic, I have my other mic coming home pretty soon. Uh, but for now, this is the mic I'm using in case you were wondering what that's all about. All right, so the first item that I picked up is this, and you may have seen it in one of the ride-alongs recently. It is a swivel, you're gonna see a bit of a mess, a vintage mirror. I picked this up for six bucks. I'm turning it this way so you're not seeing my crazy messy desk. I picked it up for $6 at it's either Goodwill or Savers. And I think I can sell this for $125. My reasoning, and I'll show you sold on eBay, is that people that are looking for items like this are going to be looking for something specific. So while you may find a really cool silver one, I had a silver one that I sold on Etsy for $100, and it wasn't even as ornate as this one. Um, people are going to be looking for something really specific when it comes to stuff like this. And they're like, so this really cool other Art Deco one, it didn't matter if it was $10 or $50 or $100. If they're looking for this one, this is what they're gonna be willing to pay for. Uh, so I tend to price swivel mirrors like this. He's like vanity type swivel, because they swivel uh, mirrors. I tend to price them a bit higher when I get them. I actually have another one in there that I haven't sold because I like it so much. But uh, I'm, I've listed this one for $125, and I think I can get it. Do I think this is going to be a fast sale? Probably not. My other one maybe was four to six months that it sat, um, but it did sell for $100. So that being said, I think that with this one being as unique and ornate as it is, that I can get that price for it. So let's take a look at some of the solds on eBay for swivel mirrors like this one. Here we are. So vanity mirror vintage gold swivel. Now that of course there's different ones. I'll take gold out in a sec we can look. But as you can see, there are some that sold for 55, some that sold for 14, uh, 54 over here. That one's not too dissimilar to the one I've got. Uh, 29. Now, as I said, you can see, like, here's one somebody spent $16.99 on. Here's another one, $14. But if that's what you're looking for and you can't find it, you know, it's sort of like name your price type of deal. Here's another one sold for $99, $25. So I really think that the ones that sold for lower prices really could have asked for more. Because, as I say, if somebody's looking for that particular one, like even though this one seems like really minimalist and simple, if you've got this Hollywood Regency style going, that's perfect for you. And you'd be willing to pay the price that, that you want, you know, to, to get it. So let me take out gold so you can see, you know, so there are even plastic ones, plastic ones, silver ones. Um, this is a pretty cool one. It's almost like a shaving mirror on that style. But again, um, some of these that, you know, look, these are these are very similar. They actually might be the same. One sold for 24, one sold for 50. There you go. So look at these, even some of these cool, like old vintage um, plastic ones. I hate to say vintage, because I, I think we had one of those when I was growing up, um, are selling for like 30 bucks. Okay, so be on the lookout for this type of mirror. And my apologies, I know sometimes the scrolling is uh, disorienting for some people. 
uh, but this is the name of the game, what we're doing today. Uh, so yeah, name your price. Basically, I, I feel like, you know, you can always list it high and put best offer on it as well. If you're like, oh, I really could use the money right now, put best offer on it. I have best offer on mine. If somebody offers me a hundred bucks instead of 125, I'll probably take it. Um, yeah, so that is a good pickup if you find vanity mirrors out there. The next item I picked up were these coasters. These are Otagiri, which <sighs> Otagiri's been hit or miss for me lately. But I paid two dollars for these Papillion, I think I'm saying that right, Otagiri coasters. And they're super cool. They come in this box and they're very like I, I think I can put art deco-y on them um, but also Hollywood Regency style if you don't know Hollywood Regency style go um, Google it and look at some pictures it's very sleek and gold and blacks uh, yeah fancy schmancies so I think I could probably tag I mean it's kind of art the shapes and the golds and the blacks make me think art deco as well so these I spent about two dollars on buck 99 and I think I can get twenty dollars for them I have seen some up on Etsy there's a few up on Etsy there's one somebody selling for 15 bucks but it's missing the lid and there I think is one sold on eBay let's go take a look so as you can see here there is one up for $19.99 and there are no solds on eBay. There's this one that sold maybe for 28 bucks. Best offer was accepted. Um, but I think I'm probably still gonna list mine for $20. I think I can get that. Uh, as you can see here, here's the one I was telling you about on Etsy that they've got up for $14. There's no lid on it. And here's another uh, similar, the same kind of style box, 20 bucks. I think I can probably list mine for right around that same point. Um, a lot of times, truly, I end up listing a little bit higher, so that might end up being what I do. I might actually list them for $24.99 because I put best offer on things and I'm aiming for that $20 target. Sometimes I'll list it a little bit higher. It's just what I do. It works out great for me. Sometimes people will pay the, the little bit higher price that I put on things and sometimes they'll send me a best offer. So usually it works out one way or the other for me. The next thing I picked up, sometimes I pick things up for me and then think, oh, what am I going to do with that? I should probably sell it. So the next thing I picked up is a book called Now We Are Sick. And the reason I picked it up is because it says it was edited by Neil Gaiman. And I'm a big Neil Gaiman fan and I hadn't seen this. So this is not actually something he wrote. It's like an anthology of poetry that he edited with Stephen Jones. So it's got kind of macabre poems from other famous poets and other, you know, of this work. So uh, this book I paid $3 for, and this particular copy is not selling for a ton, but the reason I wanted to show it to you is that there are ones that are selling for a lot. So, because of the version I've got, this one is probably about $14, so I might make a good $8 profit, which is okay when it, and if it finally sells. But let's take a look at the one that is selling for a lot. So, I think, one, I don't sell a lot of books, but I look for particular authors, and I look for things that are unusual, and I look for old books that look cool for somebody that might want to put it on their shelf just as, like, home decor that's my go-to anyway so here are sold listings for the book now we are sick and these are first editions they are leather bound copies they're more uh, black with the silver foil on them and as you can see they sold anywhere between about 200 to 400 bucks so bolo alert uh, but basically, normally when I see Neil Gaiman and then a, a, a title that I have not heard of, I'm like, whoa, what have we here? Uh, so down here is another version that sold for 35 bucks, And I'm going to take off sold so you can see. There's 13 up there of uh, different versions. And the one I've got here, you know, it's selling. Oh, well, maybe I could bump my price up because I think this is mine. Yeah, that's my, look at that. I think I can't bump my price up. Because now that I'm looking, 
as far as the copy that I have, if I'm ignoring the other ones with the black frame around them, like one's $12.99, but then there's two others that are closer to like $35, $45. I think I'm gonna go raise my price. However, they, they are doing free shipping. I don't think it matters. All right, I'm probably gonna go raise my price, maybe like to $24.99. Why not get it now if you want it before I raise my price? The next item is this brass gavel. I saw this, it was a buck ninety-nine, so basically two dollars. I paid I paid for this little brass gavel at I believe it was Savers. Um yeah. So anything brass, uh figural items, and I saw this and I thought, oh, this is like a perfect gift for a judge or an auctioneer, something like that. Uh so let's take a look at solds for brass gavels. So I'm asking 20 bucks for mine, and I don't think it's gonna be that hard to get based on the solds that I'm seeing here. Uh, here's one that sold similar to mine for about $15. But look, all of these, I mean, there's wooden brass ones that are selling for 50, 60 bucks. I didn't find a wooden one, but that's okay. Yeah. So there's quite a few up there, and a lot of them are selling around that, around 20 bucks, you know, 15 to $20. So I think I can definitely get the $20 that I'm asking for my brass gavel. Look at that, I love it, because it's like, it's not gonna break in the mail, it's small, I could probably send it first class, easy peasy, I love it. Next up is another item that I kinda thought about keeping for myself. Uh, it's this really cute ceramic owl. I love the green and the teal together. And then the back of it has got all these beautiful like swirls. I paid three bucks for this. And this is one of, again, there's a few items here that I bought when I was thrifting. I bought for me and then just thought, what am I doing? <laughs> like, I just need to sell them. I don't need this. So let's take a look. I didn't find this particular owl. It's hollow down here. Um, and so again, I'm probably going to list it for about $20 or more. Let's go look and see what kind of owls have sold. I did the search for green or teal ceramic owl. I can look up here and see green ceramic owl. And as you can see, there's quite a few, th this is the same type of deal with th like this, as far as a mirror, somebody's going to be looking for a particular style. They want a certain kind of owl. They might want a certain color scheme or a certain, you know, design pattern, how it looks, and they'll be willing to pay for the one that they want. So as you can see here, I'm seeing some anywhere from 30 bucks, some are lower, but I, now that I'm looking at these, I think I probably might try to sell mine for 30 bucks. Look at this one. Oh, Anderson Designs, that's a good one. This one's not too dissimilar to the one I've got, only it's, its eyeballs are hollow and mine are not hollow uh, but that one's over 25 bucks so I think I could probably put $30 on mine and do okay based on what I'm seeing here some really cool stuff yeah absolutely next is another mug I bought for myself okay it says mom it says I love you and I was like oh, I really like this I like the gold I like how the bottom kind of pet like comes out kind of like a shaving mug does, but it doesn't have the same kind of handle as a shaving mug. This is the brand Rosanna. And I don't know that this one's really gonna sell for a ton, but it was again, one of those things I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't need another mug. And it's pretty cool. It's got a really cool art deco look to it. I think somebody else might really enjoy that. So I spent three bucks on this and I think I'm gonna ask around 20, 25 bucks. So this particular brand, Rosanna Mom Mug, one sold similar to this one for about $17.95. Let's go look at what's not sold yet. So there's one for, it looks almost exactly like mine, up for $12.99. And I think this is actually my <laughs> listing right here. But I'm counting on someone looking at my picture, my listing, and saying, I like that looks more professional than this one and going for that because I think it matters to some people. Some people it won't matter, but I think, let me check. I think this is my listing. 
<laughs> is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm counting on. Like, okay, someone's going to look at mine and think that it looks a little more professional. It may not matter, but it might. Who knows? So there we have it. My mom mug, 25 bucks. And here's another one that I think y'all might think I'm bananas for the price I'm putting on it, but, but we'll see. I have this adorable green frog planter. I picked it up for $2 and I think I'm going to try to get 80 bucks for this. I put 80 bucks on it and we shall see how it goes. The reason that I put $80 on it is that I couldn't find another one exactly like mine. I have seen brown wicker ones that look like this and of course they're selling for less but I think somebody might see the green one and think that's gonna look better in my greenhouse or my on my porch or for my succulents or whatever and they'll be willing to buy that also um, you know for gift giving somebody might want to get that as a gift for someone so let's take a look at the ones that are up there and and yeah, see if you think I'm bananas for my $80 price tag on that one. So here are two that are not exactly like mine that sold for just under 30 bucks. There are a couple wicker ones that are not green that sold for, you know, 15 to $30 there. I think they could get more, honestly. I think it's so kitschy and so unique maybe I'm out of my mind we'll find out uh, let's go look and see the ones that are not sold so you can see look there's mine <laughs> put it up for $82.99 best offer I'm taking offers why not but I think compared to what's out there if you're looking for a gift for someone like this I think mine is gonna be the way to go <laughs> I'm talking myself up uh, so yeah I mean there's a couple others it's just really look at him his wide mouth he's kind of fun too I, I think I can get it. We'll see. We'll see. Again, you can't get a high price if you don't put a high price on it. So definitely worth trying for that high price. And then, you know, take an offer if you have to. All right, who remembers this Wendy's commercial? Where's the beef? I remember her like coming up to like the judges like stand. <laughs> Where's the beef? Looking at the little patty. So there is that Wendy's mug. I paid 75 cents for this mug at a little thrift store not far from here. Let's take a peek at what I think I can get for this mug and what other ones have sold. So believe it or not, there are 13 sold on this one. When I looked it up, I was like, oh, I bet this is going to be one that, you know, there's a bunch up there. Nobody's buying this. But there are 13 sold on this mug. So I see prices anywhere from seven to 15, 20 bucks. I'm putting mine up around the $15 mark. Most of these are a little bit lower as far as the price point goes, but I am gonna put mine up for 15 bucks. I think it's already up there, let's go look. Let's take off solds. Yep, there it is, $15, that one's mine right there. Uh, again, you know, counting on that, my, my pictures will look good and draw people in and that'll uh, sell it for me. The next item I picked up is this Dymo label maker. I actually got it because I was like, ooh, we have a little one, not anything fancy like this one, if I can get it open. And it's one of these numbers, I can take it out. And you can switch out the little discs and then you like punch out, bonk, 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 punch out the labels. I actually made a video for this one, but I haven't put it up yet. And I will put my work. It's gonna be in my in my uh, first picture, right? So <laughs> I would say, I work. Uh, so yeah, I paid four bucks for that. And I think I'm gonna ask about $40. So let's take a look at the ones that have sold lately. 19 solds lately. Um, it looks like mine might be missing one disc because I see some of these that have like the whole case, the whole shebang going, that looks like they've got three discs. I'll have to go double check. But mine only has two, and I still think I can get about 40 bucks for it based on what I'm seeing. We'll see. 
I am going to put a video in my listing so that they can see that it's working and how to work it. So it might help me. Hmm, I may have to drop it down to 30, 35. We'll see. We'll see. I kind of want to ask 40. Let me go back and see how many are up there. How many are still listed? There are 13 up for sale right now. So based on what's still for sale, because that matters too, um, a lot of them are up for 40 or more. So I might go ahead and still list mine for 40 because you can look, like I say, you can look at eBay solds, but you can't just like, that's not the be all end all. Be one, I sell on Etsy too. And two, if every single one that has sold has sold for $10, let's say, but the only ones available are $40, then what are people gonna do? They can't go and say, oh, but all the others are sold for $10. Why is yours 40? Well, mine's 40, pay it or not. Um, yeah, so as you can see, all the other ones that are available are closer to the $40 mark. So that's what's probably gonna end up happening with my pricing on that one. The next item I've got here, I am not sure that I'm selling still. My kids do not want me to sell this. I have taken pictures, I have even made a video, and I'm still on the fence about selling this. I picked it up at Goodwill for two bucks, and uh, I think it can be used a couple different ways. It could be used for like cone incense, you know, and then it comes up the little chimney. Or it could be, it's got grooves there, it could be used like as an ashtray, like a cigarette ashtray. And again, the smoke coming up. And I did a video, I put incense, I didn't have any cone incense, so I just had like regular sticks. So that you could see the like chimney smoke coming out of the top because it's super cute. He reminds me of the mayor of Halloween Town, right? From Nightmare Before Christmas. And I just can't decide if I want to sell him or not. Uh, he, there's no maker's mark or anything. He's just amazing. He's just amazing, I tell you. You probably saw him in the ride-along because I, I did the ride-along where I found him. <clears throat> so let's take a look. Again, I couldn't find anything like him, so I'd probably list him for $50 or more if I list him. Let's go take a peek. I did a search for MCM, Mid-Century Modern Tiki Ashtray Chimney, and, and I couldn't find any exact ones, like, sold. But based on, yeah, I don't know. Let me go take this off. Oh dear, that's very... <laughs> uh, there's one here that's up for 40 bucks. I just think mine is... Why do we always think mine are so special? Like, I just think mine is so special. But he is! You have to admit, he's just so special. Um, so I do. <laughs> I think he's really cool. And I couldn't find another one like him. So again, oh look, he's similar. Similar-ish. Ish. ish. Um, Mexican pottery, Aztec tiki, got ashtray. In okay, cool. So those are about 20, 25 bucks. I think you can get more. Uh, so yeah, again, not sure if I'm going to list him, but if I do, it'll probably be closer to 50 bucks. Yeah. The next guy that I got is this doll, and you might know what it is, you might not know what it is. I really went back and forth, and I'm still not sure he's a good pickup for me. Not because I don't think I can make a good profit on him, but because American Girl doll collectors are, sorry if you're one of them. They can be really, really particular. And I, the few times I have sold American Girl doll stuff, I have had, I don't say run-ins, but I've had issues with the buyers. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one is not marked American Girl doll. This one is marked, I'm gonna show you its neck if you can see. It is marked Pleasant Company. I'm not sure you can see that on its neck. Anyway, the next is Pleasant Company. It is wearing a Build-A-Bear outfit. But this is a uh, Bitty Baby, and usually they're sold as twins. Or I've sold twins, anyway. Bitty Baby twins. Uh, I paid $6 for him, and I did. I went back and forth. I put him back, and I got him. And I'm like, it's like a $20 profit. That's what I kept telling myself. Margaret, you're just leaving $20 right there. Even though you don't want to deal with 
<laughs> American Girl doll collectors. Uh, he needs a clean. He's not super, you know, he's got, he needs TLC. But it doesn't matter. So here is the Itty Baby, Bitty Baby, Itty Baby. Uh, that one sold for 30 bucks. You know, there's a few different ones here. There's the pair of them over here. Maybe it's the girl. Is it the girl or the boy? I think it's the boy. Because the girl's got short hair too. Anyway. Um, yeah. I, I mean, it's a good 30 bucks that I could make on this one. Even though it needs... Look, that one says it's a girl. Okay, I'm going to have to figure it out. I don't know if it's the girl or the boy on this one now. Uh, it doesn't have the ponytail on top like that one does. I think it's the boy. What do you think? I think it's the boy. Okay, so yeah, it's 30 bucks. Probably going to make, you know, because I spent 6 bucks, a good $20 profit. <sighs> we'll see how it goes. But, you know, like there's a bunch up there that I've sold. Let's go look and see how many that's just a part of it you gotta weigh it like oh gosh do i really there's 23 listings up there are there any for just my dude yeah there's a couple there's a couple for just my fella the one i feel like i've got two where he's solo cool cool that's just part of reselling is you gotta know like if you've got collectors that you know are gonna be could possibly be You know what I'm saying. I don't want to say it out loud. <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself. Next up is this toucan that I got at Savers, I think. Uh, and this toucan is by Jemmy Toys. Wait, there is it. There you go. Jemmy Toys. And it sings, it dances. I'm not going to, I guess I could push the button because it turns off and on. Thank goodness. Mama, Peter. Anyway, so. <laughs> I got this uh, for three dollars, and I believe I post I put put it up for. I think it was thirty or thirty five. We'll go see. This is one that you probably saw a video on my channel if you if you're following my channel, uh, because I put videos in some of my listings of things that move and stuff like that, like the train I just did, and then this, and then if I sell my tiki guy, I'll have a video for that. And so I post a video in my listing. I have. I have a video showing how to do that if you're interested and maybe I should remake it but um, I really think it helps sell the item because the person can see like how it works and that it works and all of that fun stuff before they buy it and I do keep those live on my channel and I know I have some people who don't like that <laughs> and my reason is I want to show best practices and if you are also selling then that could be a reminder or a spark to say, oh yeah, you know, that's something else I can do. I can put that video in my listing. Let me figure out how to do that. It's super easy. Um, so yeah, so I leave them live on my channel and yeah, I enjoy doing them. So let's go take a look at this Jemmy Toucan and there actually is one sold within the last three months. So, ah, so here we have it. This is that animated talking toucan bird. This one sold for $26.99. And uh, yeah, so Christmas stuff sells year round. Let's go look at how many are up right now. So, and this is mine right here. And I even put, this is the only time I usually put anything in bold or like all caps is when I put C video, just so that they know, oh, there's a video of this thing working so I can check that out. Uh, and then I think, you know, compared to other listings, if there's a few different ones and you're like, ooh, I wanna make sure this thing works and having a video really really helps so there's only three other ones up I wonder if I should raise my price because that one's up at 44 let's go see I'll show you because I know some people say oh you can't put videos in your listing anymore the the way they changed it just as a quick aside they don't like active content they won't allow active content in the listing so that means the video won't open up right here it won't play in eBay. So when you click it, it opens it in another tab and then you can watch it there. So that is how that works now. And then it'll go to the video. And last but not least, I spent $2 on this girl. And I uh, this is another one that I went back and forth about putting back on the shelf. Not so sure I wanted to get it. Not so sure that it was gonna be a good seller. I've already listed it and it's already sold. So this is something that gets to get shipped out I'll probably package it up tonight. Um, this is an M&M 
canister, like a candy canister. I guess you could put cookies in there. They have to be small cookies, but hey, if you like those little animal parade cookies or circus cookies, that's a fit in there. Um, so yeah, I wasn't sure about getting her because I, I see a few up there. However, she's got a rose in her mouth. And that, so it makes her a little bit different than the others. I didn't see any others that had a rose in their mouth. Let's go take a look at eBay. My other thought process on, on her was, it was $2. I was like, you know what? I think, it, it, I did, honestly, I thought this was going to be one of those that was going to be a long tail item that was going to sit for a while. And it actually sold like within a day or two of me listing it. So this is eBay. These are the ones that have sold on eBay. There's this pink canister one. Um, yeah, there's a few different ones that have sold. See, here she is, but she doesn't have the flower in her mouth. Sold for 15 But I sold this for $24.99. I'm not... Yeah, I, now that I'm looking, I'm like, I, I guess I just... Because she had the flower, I was like, I'm going to list it for a little bit more. And if you look on my solds on eBay and you're like, wait a second, it didn't sell. I don't see it. It sold on, on my Etsy. So, um, yeah. All right, I wanted to show you something real quick because sometimes when you do a Google search for items, because I don't always just go on eBay and look at eBay and eBay sold. If you do a Google search for items and an Etsy listing pops up and it shows that it, the item has already sold, what you can do is go to Flipper Tools. I'm going to show you on my green canister. This is something else you can do on a person's store. You can go down to their sales and click on that. Now they have the ability to turn it off where you can't look and see they're sold. I leave mine on because I feel like I, I feel like I'm an educator basically, and I want to be able to have my listings there for you guys, you know, or for whoever. Um, as a as a research point, you know, if somebody's like, "Ooh, I, there's that. I want to see what that sold for." Um, I, I don't see any point in hiding that personally. So you can go and click on the listing, and then select the URL up at the top and copy it, and then go to Flipper Tools, which is a website and it's free. Go over there and you enter in the listing from the URL, and it'll pull up the price for Etsy sold. They have an eBay one. The last couple of times I was trying to use it, it was down. So I don't know if it's still working or not. Okay. So if you are one of my Mug Life people, let me know down in the comments. I had somebody say that they thought that mug sales might pick up when people start going back to work in the office. And I'm hoping that that's true. I've been struggling to find mugs that I think are worthy of being picked up. I've only found a few lately. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts on mugs and mug sales and how you're doing with them because they are one of the my favorite things to sell they're just so fun all right uh and thanks for watching today again leave me a comment down below and follow me on facebook and instagram texas gal treasures i'll see you over there bye